Hey guys, Luigi Taco here, back with more Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we almost finished the Under, and in this episode, you might be wondering why I'm back in the Pyrae Cave. It's because of something I found out about a few days ago. Now, if you go back in here, I had to do a bunch of battling to get in here. There's gonna be this guy. And let's talk to him. This is Miracle B, his six. Mirror B successor. And now, <laughs> the music for this battle sounds like the original Mirror B song on crack. It sounds so funny. <laughs> oh my god, I could listen to this song forever. It's just hilarious. Oh my god. So, yeah, this is an extra fight. I didn't know about this until just about yesterday. And this is hilarious. This is just really funny. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna do this battle really quick. And it took me a bunch of time to get here because all those trainers in that tower, they got reset, so I had to fight them all over again. Oh my god. So that was a bit of a pain, but... Oh well. Got some good training in. Um, as you might have noticed... Ooh, one hit KO. As you might have noticed, Espeon learned... Psybeam, which is a good attack, 65 power, can, uh, yeah, Psychic, 65 power, it's a good attack, basically like an enhanced version of, uh, Confusion, so yeah, that's gonna really help us. Ooh, Light Screen. And you know, recently, Reflect actually proved to be helpful, so I might actually keep it. Reflect, um, a Metang used Meteor Mash, and it did about half damage to... Ooh! Come on, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself... Die! Alright, so yeah, I did about half damage to Espeon, and then I used Reflect, and it left Espeon with 10 health, and I was able to finish off the Metang with a uh, Cross Chop. And yeah, it, it was pretty good. Oh man, it missed. Alright, let me try to kill Lanoon. Electrode is... One of the fastest Pokemon in the entire, out of all, like, the 493 or with the new ones coming out. I don't know what that makes the number. But yeah, he's extremely fast. And so, yeah, you're gonna want to take him out and take him out quick. Ooh! Almost killed me. Jeez, I'm just loving this music. Just listen to these guys, they're like, hi! Well, that's a one-hit KO. Arriba! I can't even get my voice high enough. Ooh, level 37. Uh, Typhlosion gained a level. He's level 39 now. Hey, there's a Sudowoodo. Just not Shadow. Oh, man. Just take a minute to listen to this. Oh, crap. Explosion. And my Pokemon are dead. And so is... So is theirs. Oh well. No experience, sadly, because I didn't have the experience share on. But whatever. Be they can be an idiot. And dead. So we're going to have to send out two Pokemon, since both of ours got killed. I think I'll send out Quagsire. And... Typhlosion, because they both have a ground-type move. Quagsire is Mudshot. Wow, Quagsire is a girl? Oh my god, that's creepy. And earlier I made those jokes about shoving Quagsire's gigantic dick-like tail into Pikachu. Oh god, I think that Pikachu was a girl also. Oh, oh, that, that just gives me a weird feeling inside. Oh my god, it's just like Dak at me. It's gonna give me nightmares. Oh, uh, let's just forget about it. Maybe I can stop thinking about it. And okay. So we're about to win this fight. And almost dead. Mudshot will kill it. And wait for it, wait for it. Dead. And we've beaten Miracle B. Alright, so yeah, that's just an extra fight. If you beat the game, he'll be gone forever. Like, if you finish the game... 
if you just beat the final boss, then he'll be gone forever. And yeah, he has no afro. Sucks for him. Alright, so... That battle's done. I don't believe you can battle him again, but... Alright, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna head back to the under so we can go catch Venus. Gotta catch Venus. Alright, we're back to where we were. So let's go catch Venus. Alright, we gotta go down here. There she is. Man, she's been waiting there this whole time. I've been gone for like... Been gone for like two days. Not two days, but... Still. Alright, and she gets the elevator. Lucky. So we gotta go the other way. No biggie. We can do it. Man. Sadly, we have to fight some trainers, but luckily they have Shadow Pokemon. Alright. So our first Shadow Trainer Pokemon thingy. There it is. Level 43 Glygar Shadow. Alright. I think I can go without paralyzing it, actually. Glygar, ground and flying type, so... It's resistant to electricity and ground. A very strange but good type. So, yeah. Our... I should get Infaros out of here because... He won't be- or she won't be able to do anything in this battle. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna take him- I think I'm gonna take her out. But Umbreon, however, I'm gonna keep him in. Because he's gonna be- a, he's gonna be good. And... die. Ooh, good. Love gaining levels. Umbreon's still level 35, which kind of sucks. Alright, I'm gonna switch out Ampharos for... Quagsire. He's my backup. And unless there's any ground slash... Ghost types that you know about, let me... Let me know. Because otherwise... Otherwise... I can't paralyze them. Or put them to sleep, because that would... That would suck. Oh man, and my commentary worsens. But no matter, we still have a battle going on, so you can watch that. Alright. I'll try to catch it right now. Use an Ultra Ball, why not? I'm gonna go sock up after this video. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, don't confuse me, please. Good. God, I hate in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Whenever... Whenever I fight, um, Misty... She always uses... She always uses Water Pulse and then confuses me almost every time. Just gets so annoying. Alright. Next turn I'll be able to kill... Alright, I mean I'll be able to catch... Glygar because he'll be asleep. Or after next turn. Alright, Glygar's drowsy. Oh my god, what's with the fake tears? Like, I don't believe it. Literally, I, ah, I don't believe it. I mean, they're fake. I mean, they're stupid. You can easily see that they're not tears, even though the animation is good, and they do look like tears. And I don't know what I just said. Alright, Jigglypuff's dead. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. That song's annoying, so I'll shut up. And Glygar's asleep, so I'll just catch it. Um... I can use a Great Ball. Why not? This isn't that hard to catch, and... I'll just call. This isn't very hard to catch, and so I'm running out of balls. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that was a horrible joke. But anyway, two, three, caught. Alright, next battle. We don't need to heal, so we can just go on. Wish I could become a YouTube partner so I wouldn't have to worry about the time limit. Because I've been debating all these episodes whether I can... 
Oh, okay. Whether I can go on or not. And sometimes I... I think that I'm at the time limit, but... Like last episode, I thought I was at the time limit, but really I was only at about... 12 or 13 minutes, so... Yeah, it's been pissing me off a little bit. But hopefully someday I will become a partner, and... Yeah. Hopefully that'll work out alright. Ooh, Curlio, we... Oh, right, we have Faros out. Alright, um... I'll just slowly kill Roselia. Then I'll use Bite on Curlia. Please kill it. Eh, ah, so close. I'll just finish that off next turn. That's pretty obvious. Alright, Magical Leaf. Thunderbolt. Oh, you're angry. Oh, it looks like Roselli is angry when it only stands at like four inches tall. Oh, and by the way, about Whale Lord, um, last video, I got a comment saying Groudon would look really, would look really big. I think I know who, you, I think you know who you are who sent that. Cabral, I think. And you said that Groudon would look much bigger than Whale Lord. Really, that's not true. Whale Lord is the biggest Pokemon ever. At about 48 feet, but Groudon would be heavier, it's 2,095 pounds, and Whale Lord's only about like 600 or 800 pounds, I forget really. It's either like 650 or 850, but still. So, yeah. But I have seen Groudon in a fight. It is a fact, I have seen Groudon, and it is pretty big. Stantler, there it is. There's our shadow. Alright, this is giving me a little bit of trouble in past playthroughs. But we'll manage. Man, having some slowdown. Okay. And Roselli is gone. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring uh, Quagsire into this so I can yawn it. Uh, yeah, Quagsire's fine. Then I'll just use some weak attacks to get it down. Normal drill. Done it about 20 other times. Nothing new. Oh, take down. Please don't do a lot. Oh my god. Alright, just so I can use Yawn, I gotta... Ooh, I'm not gonna damage it anymore. Alright. And then I'll, I'm gonna use a ball or a hyper potion. Because I don't want Quagsire to die. I need to get this yawn in. Take down, fail. Alright, the yawn is set. So now I can just use Pokeballs or whatever. Uh, let me try a Great Ball. Just start out. And then I can just call. Alright, I'll throw another Snag Ball. Please work. Alright, this time I actually am coming up on the time limit. Two, three, caught it. Alright, uh, two shadow Pokemon for this video. And so, alright, that's good enough right now. Next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we'll get to the bottom of this. Literally. Alright, see you guys then.